An infamous love letter from Tupac Shakur to Madonna is up for auction. The rapper wrote the three page letter from prison in 1995. The bidding starts at $100,000 but could go for as much as 300 grand. In the letter, Tupac writes, I waited a long time to write this, mainly because I was struggling to find all the answers. The effects of racism make it difficult for a young black male to properly show affection for an older white woman. Can you understand that? Please understand my previous position as that of a young man with limited experience with an extreme famous sex symbol. He ends the letter telling her to be safe and asking if she knows anything about quote Jack and crew. It could be life or death. Wow. Very cool. And I have that book um, A Rose Grows from from Concrete with all of his letters in there and I can't stress just how kind, empathetic, mm. poetic this young man was. I think this young man would, I mean, he did change the course of history through his lyrics, but this man would have completely, I think, um, changed our world if he were still to be alive today because uh, his his lyrics or his yeah. writings are so profound. Yeah, yeah, we're well, just talking about Kanye. That's all. We were no, just no, talking no, about no, Kanye, no. how he's a genius. I think I think if Tupac, and it sounds crazy just saying that, but I, this is even crazier. I think Tupac would definitely be in po politics if oh, he was alive today. Yeah. He was 24 when he died, mm -hmm. and he already he had that mindset. I mean, I think this guy would have been a major changer. And, and he history. was he had that influence before Twitter, yeah. before Facebook, before you were able to reach large, uh, reach large groups of people. I mean, the thing that I've taken away from just interviewing Ice T, Ice Cube. Think about if they were killed at 24 years old. We remember, oh yeah, the guy he was a gangster rapper. You wouldn't now. Yeah. You look at Ice T. He's married with a dog. He's I think he's got a, you know the, his own crime network. Yep. yep. You know Ice T. Uh, Entrepreneurs. Ice, Cube, Ice Cube's got the Big Three basketball tournament. He's a, a filmmaker. He's a renowned actor but right see, I think there's a difference with Tupac because people think of Tupac in the way that he died that he was this gangster rapper Tupac people some people use words he created yeah. with words Tupac was an orator yep. he was a prolific person right so it's more than like the image that was really given to him wasn't really truly who he was right, right. and my husband used to live next door to him when really? he was a little kid, my husband really? used to, you know the story. I know he tells you the my husband stuff. still has the autograph. My husband at like nine years old used to go over there and was a huge fan, you know, back in the day, my husband of not only Tupac, but a lot of different rap artists. And he'd go over and knock on the door, all his little friends and Tupac would come, no shirt on, long shorts, and would talk to my husband. That's and he's and cool. He said he'd sign, yeah. and then Mark goes, well then the next time I went back, I go, you went back? And he goes, yeah, finally they're just like, Tupac doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> 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 kept going back and back and back. Could you blame him? No. Can't blame kind him. Kind of. He still has that autograph. Well Good for dry. him. That's cool.